What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from Dawson Speak TV and D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the videos on this channel. Much love to those who support this channel by donating. I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box underneath the video. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, thanks for clicking on the video. Now, this video is for educational purposes, and as I approach this topic with respect, I want you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. Thanks. Now, this next story is coming out of Texas. Oh, Lord. Why well, I gotta come out of Texas? I mean, hasn't Texas had enough? Lord, help. I mean, two months ago, they were trying to tear down Dallas megachurch pastor Bishop T.D. Jakes by spreading all kinds of rumors about him that we have yet to have proof of. Show us the proof. However, Bishop T.D. Jakes is still up there preaching. He said he ain't gonna let none of y'all stop him. <laughs> but we're not gonna stay in Dallas. We're gonna move further south. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, we have a problem at Lakewood Church. What the hell is going on at Lakewood? Man, they said a lady walked in the church and set it off. Now, I did see four minutes of the video that was circulating online with the people leaving out of the sanctuary, and Joel Osteen did come out and do a press conference, and he talked about the situation. But let me say something to you pastors. Listen to me. You all need security in your churches. I don't care if you ain't got nothing but 20 people. Get security in your churches. People these days are out of it. You don't know what's on their mind when they come to church. So you all, let's continue to keep the people over at Lakewood Church in our prayers. And we'll continue to pray for the senior pastor and first lady, Joel and Victoria Osteen. Now watch my subscribers. I know him real well. Dawson, I'm not praying for him. He's not really a pastor. He's a motivational speaker. Dawson, you want me to pray for somebody who when the hurricane came, he wouldn't even open the doors of the church to help the people? You pray for him. I know my subscribers, y'all. Let me move on. Now to the story you're here to listen to. This one comes out of Austin, Texas. Pastor Aaron Ivey is a worship leader, a pastor. He attended the Austin Stone Community Church, which is a mega church in Austin, Texas. Pastor Aaron Ivey loves music and spreading the word of God to the masses. When asked about himself, Pastor Aaron Ivey stated that he is a songwriter, a shepherd, an artist, an author, an elder, a father, a husband, and a mentor, and has a deep love for his family and community. Now, Pastor Aaron Ivey and his equally talented wife, Jamie Ivey, have four children, one son of their own, three children that they adopted, two of which they got from Haiti between 2009 and 2010. In their community and church, the Ivies were role models for many families. However, that all changed on February 11, 2024, when the Austin Stone Community Church took to their website to let the congregation and the community know that Pastor Aaron Ivey was being fired for having inappropriate interactions with men at the church. Take a breath. Not only that, during their investigations, the leaders at Austin Stone Community Church went back as far as 2011 and they found that Pastor Aaron Ivey had inappropriate text messages with a young male at the church. Now, you all see I have a timeline here. You can read it. This has been going on with this pastor since 2011, but the church leaders were made aware of it this month, February 2024. And on the church's website, the leader said, and this is so sad, that they will not be surprised if more is uncovered. Oh my God, y'all. Man, what's going on in the Lord's church? Pastor Aaron Ivey, you're moving along like you're a narcissist, man. You didn't get, you've been doing this for since 2011. Lying to your wife, lying to the church, your family. You got four children, buddy. And I know somebody going to say, Dawson, but you know, everybody make a mistake. Don't be, no, 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 this ain't no mistake. This is habitual. It's been going on since 2011. This is his lifestyle. Austin Stone Community Church, you can't tell it. Let me tell it. He don't want no woman. He want a man. Jamie, wake up. He doesn't want you. 
You know, I don't know why you all send me. Well, I know why you send me these stories because you know I'm going to tell you the truth. Because many of the women who send stories like this to me, you all got out of relationships like this. You've been in churches where you, some of you have c- contracted incurable diseases. If I can be honest, some of you have shared that with me. And you know I'm going to tell you the truth. Some of these people spiritualize everything. Oh, well, you know, Sister Jamie, go and marry him. The Lord will be with you. He don't want no more sausage. The Lord delivered him and now he won't hop pockets no he don't winter spring summer and fall he's searching for sausages and balls jamie wake up somebody put that in the comment section jamie wake up we want to get this message to you i got a word for you right now wake up let me calm down let me talk to pastor aaron ivy pastor aaron ivy i've watched a lot of your videos dating back to 14 years ago i've heard some of your sermons i listened to you and your wife speak on different people's show And you talked about how much you loved your family, you loved your wife, and what God expects of a husband. If you loved them, sir, you would have been honest with them. Because your actions, dating back to 2011 up until this month, February 2024, you've altered you and your wife's livelihood, and you've tarnished your name. All because you, you, sir, are living a double life. You're on the down low. And I know some people may say, well, Dawson, how is it hurting his wife's reputation? That's on him. That's his mistake, not hers. Well, it's his mistake, but it is hurting his wife. You see, Pastor Aaron and Jamie Ivey, they were creatives. They were a team. And as a matter of fact, she has her own podcast and she has interviewed famous people. Just a few days ago on February 9th, 2024, she was on Good Morning America promoting her new book entitled, Why Can't I Get It Together? Yeah, that's the title of her book. Now what we want to know, Jamie, who are you talking about? You or your husband? Take a breath. Jamie, you did a great job on Good Morning America. I was proud of you. And shout out to my brother over there, DeMarco Morgan. He's holding it down. Big ups to you, bro. Jamie, you also were on TBN just a couple of months ago. I believe you're a reoccurring host on that show, Better Together. And you were talking about some, you know, some hot topics then. About addictions. And now... I hear that you stopped your book tour because of the recent information that was revealed about your husband, Pastor Aaron Ivey. And to tell you the truth, Jamie, I feel sorry for you and your children. Pastor Aaron Ivey, this is an ongoing investigation. And from what I was reading, the leaders over at Austin Stone Community Church have turned over the information from 2011 with that minor. They've turned that over to the officers because they want to see if they can press charges against you for that situation. Pastor Aaron Ivey, go get a man because that's what you want. You have a wife at home and obviously that's not working for you. Definitely leave the youngins alone. Don't mess with the young folks. Go get an adult. Pastor Aaron Ivey, there are either one or two things that are going to happen. And I know what it is. Either you're going to divorce Jamie and go live the life that you want. Or you're going to stay with Jamie. And you both are going to do the whole conversion, reparative therapy. I'm delivered. I'm going to start an ex-gay ministry. Come on, bro. We know how this works. Now, let me say this because I'm getting off this topic, even though I have so much more I wanted to say. But I'm just going to, I'm going to end it right here. This particular topic of living a double life, being on the DL, it's not just about Pastor Aaron Ivey. There are so many men and women in religious institutions who are going through this situation and they have no one to talk to. The church tells them to get delivered. And now that you're delivered, you can get married and the struggle will go away. However, if the temptation comes back, praise your way out, worship your way out, shout your way out, pray your way out, and continue to pray the gay away and go back home to your wife or your husband and it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Yeah, right. It'll be okay until it's not. Be real with yourself. Tell people who you're in a relationship with or about to get married with, tell them the truth. And for you men in the church, stop using these women as a beard. Now I'm off of this. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this topic. Thank you all for sharing the videos. Thumbs up the videos. Those who donate support this channel. I love you. I appreciate you so much. Until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself and each other. Peace.